Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Mad Math, and today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers, and we want to evaluate each expression. So if I was given this expression, negative 16 minus 6 plus a negative 5, and I wanted to, think, to combine them together. Well, I like to see everything all the same type sometimes, so I have... Um, so it's all addition or all subtraction. So we have negative 16 plus or minus 6 plus a negative 5. Well, I can make these all to be plus a negative here. So negative 16 minus 6 turns into plus a negative 6, right? Minus 6, same thing as plus a negative 6, plus a negative 5. In that sense. Okay? And I will put parentheses. It'll be too cluttered up. So we have negative 16 plus a negative 6. So we just have to combine these numbers together. Now, it really doesn't matter the order in which you combine them because they're all negative, one, two, three, right? And we're adding them all together. So the commutative property states that we can rearrange it however we want. We can solve parts of them first. Well, remember, we're, we're all moving to a more, a more negative number. So what am I going to do here? Well, let's go left to right. Negative 16 plus negative 6. That comes out to be, oh my goodness, negative 22. All right, negative 22 plus a negative 5. Negative 22 plus a negative 5. 16 plus 6 is 22, so we keep that negative, right? Negative 22. And negative 22 plus a negative 5, well, that comes out to be a more negative number, which is negative 27. And there's my final answer, okay? So let's recap. We have negative 16 minus 6 plus a negative 5. Minus the 6 is the same thing as adding a negative, right? We add that negative there. So now we have negative 16 plus negative 6 plus a negative 5. Well, negative 16 plus negative 6 is negative 22, in, that, in the more negative direction. We bring that in the negative 5. Negative 22 plus negative 5 is negative 27, which is our final answer. 